Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. Loud pickup. That's right, just in time for another virtual campground tour. We're out at Horns Creek Lake. Somewhere in West Texas. I'd have, I'll put up a map and show you where. So, we're gonna do this, this whole Horns Creek Lake experience in two different sections. We're gonna do the north side, the, the lake, the lakeside area, and then next week we'll visit the other side. That way the video is not forever long. But I have Lou Red, the high speed mobility scooter. I have the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod. Best of all, I have you. So let's find some tunes and go check out Hordes Creek Lake. That would be close to the city of Coleman, Texas. All right, cue the music. And the day started out with sunshine. We were camp, we were set up out at Lake Colorado City State Park. Woke up to a beautiful sunrise. And as the day progressed and we drove east, the clouds got thicker and heavier. So I'll do some post editing light adjustments and try to make it as pretty as possible you're gonna like this one though this is this is this was a pleasant surprise and the gate is attended most of the time Set up here a little, this is a Corps of Engineers, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Lake and Campground Facility. Set up kind of different. This first one I've ever been to where the park entrance road is also the road across the dam. There are some very beautiful campsites in, in this lakeside campground. Let's go see them! But there's several group pavilions. That's the day use group pavilion. Go down here first. If you need full connections, they got you covered. If you're looking for a pull through site, they got you covered there too. Of course, we're in, it's the middle of November. Actually, it's, a, it's just past the middle of November. The Thanksgiving coming up this week. And we didn't need we didn't need our 50 amp. We don't need full connections, but if you need it, look at that. That's a beautiful sight there. Lots of beautiful campground campsites. My boat ramp fans are going to be disappointed because. That gate right there, that's the boat ramp. It is closed because the water level is so low. Desperately low. So low as a matter of fact, there's a sign as you come in that says due to low lake level, the, the whole lake 
is now a weight-free zone. That's provided you can find a boat ramp that you can launch from. Heading down to the day use area. They have some wide spot in the road sites. They're not actually pull through sites, they're pull over sites. Now the beach is right there and it is severely low. I won't say, it, well, I was going to say, I won't mention the lake level being low again, but I, I have to. Because we got a couple more things. A couple more points of interest. campsite right next to it is an open field and there's quite a bit of deer scat kind of indicates that there's a lot of deer in this park and I almost ran into a, a herd of pigs as we were driving out here literally a herd of pigs about 20 of them across the road in front of us. Fortunately, they, they were far enough ahead that I was able to slow down and come to a complete stop before I took any of them out and destroyed the front end of my, my motor home. I've been very impressed with the campsites here at Horde Street lakeside they're all very level I like the fact that the Corps of Engineer they put up the pipe fence to keep people from driving or parking on the grass of course we're so far out away from most of your major metropolitan areas that probably don't get too many of the weekend party crowd. Of course, I say that and somebody's going to post a comment. Oh, no, 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 that's a crazy party place during the summer. Group camp, group pavilion, screen pavilion with a kitchen and 12 water power connections sites for RVs. This is the loop that we're set up on. And there's more of those RV sites. No, I'm going to have somebody ask me, what, what is the best site? I'm going to have a real hard time answering that question for this campground. Now, 
they all are good, nice sights. They all have trees. They're all pretty easy to get level in. You're not crammed right in on top of the next campsite. That's where we're set up. I love that big clump of oak trees. Starlink is working pretty good out here. Cell reception. We're, we have Verizon and, and we're talking on the cell phone. I, I don't know if we have connectivity enough to watch YouTube. Another big group pavilion with lots of RV sites. That's the only shower facility over here. Let me swing around so you can see that site. That's a good site right there. I really dig that big tree. All right, let's go see if this other boat ramp is open. I really don't think there's a bad campsite here. Well, there's some that would be a little more challenging for a, a big motor home to get level in. All right, so that boat ramp is off limits because there's, there's no water. All right, now we're gonna make a long ride to the end of the road. Maybe we'll see some wildlife as we travel. That's the only dump station that I have found so far. Uh, and the guy that was there when we came through, uh, he had a sewage mishap. I hate that, that people dump their sewage all over the dump station rather than in the dump station. It's a bit chilly out here, in case I haven't mentioned that. Inadvertently drove down here because we missed our turn. We had to turn around. Pulling the truck. Pulling white lightning. There's some deer ahead of us. You probably can't see them. Four of them. Maybe they'll stop and pose for us. There they are. There. We want to 
one right up there. Too bad we don't have more sunshine. I don't know if this part is of the park is open or not. I've not been out here. We, we turned around at the other gatehouse. Oh look, a whole bunch of deer. They must be feeding. Must be putting out corn. There's a dump station. Well, that's two. Another big group pavilion. Uh, number one shelter. And there's another group shelter. with RV connections. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Screen shelters and gloom. It shall be. There's a boat ramp that we were not able to get down to. Another deer. Oh, look at that one. That's a buck. That was a good buck, too. That's some good eating right there. back action. And this is the swim area for this side. I don't think anybody's going to be swimming there today. It's only because it's 40 degrees and the water's Water's way down. It's a little bit low. Sure, if these are, yeah, they appear to be 
30 amp site. Number two, that looks cool. Right next to the swim area, that would be a big plus if you could actually swim. Ooh, that's a cool sight. Number five, I like it. Yeah, we should have we got number six way over here. We would have no neighbors. A fish cleaning station. I missed the loop. Oh, look at that. That is cool. that I missed. We want to come in on that one from the other direction. So, we will loop this way. These are all pretty small sites, and they are, well, I was gonna say they're primitive. Not all of them are primitive. Some of them are primitive. No, they're all 30 amps. I was wrong. It's Monday, the week of Thanksgiving. We're going to loop through We're just going to be going in circles. Round and round in circles. We're going to go this way and then we'll come back and go on the twisty windy road. See these would be cool. You could you could use that screen room as an outdoor living area. They have 30 amp power. With easy access to the lake even. We'll take that twisty windy road and see where it goes. Uh 
Uh oh, phone is ringing. That was spam. A couple more screen shelters with a commending view. Now this is cool. I really, that, that's awesome. What is that? What number is that? Number I'm gonna be disappointed if there's nothing down here. <laughs> I see a restroom though. Oh, so there's obviously something back here. Here's to be another group pavilion. Examining the handy dandy map they gave me at the front gate turns out the only thing that's down there is a boat launch And we know that's going to be closed. So we're going to close out the lakeside Scooter tour right here Because I'm about out of battery. Hey, if this is your first visit to dude RV and you enjoyed our little scooter ride through this campground I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along Thank you. That's, that's why I get to see stuff like this. I, I would never have even known about this if it wasn't for y'all. So thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, 
I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?